I'm pulling into Charter Oak Country Club in Hudson, Massachusetts. It's a private course. Here's the clubhouse, and here's the pool house and pro shop. Here's the scorecard with the slope and rating. I'm calling this from the ladies tees. This is the first hole. It's a par five, 430 yards. You have to go over the sand and then turns out to the right. There's some junk you have to go over and then you go up on the other side. Here's the stuff you have to go over and then you go up that hill. Here's the second hole, par four, 200 yards. You have to go over this stuff. From the ladies tees, it points you right to that sand trap over there. So you wanna try and stay left over this sand trap and then you'll just chip on from there. The second hole goes up to the clubhouse. This is the third hole. It's a par three and it's a short one. It's only about 90 yards. Here's the halfway house. You reach it at the fourth hole and you reach it again after the ninth hole. The number one hole, it is 482 yards today. So you want to go up there to the end of the stuff and then you have to go over that and it goes off to the left up there. We're still on the fourth hole. It is 298 yards from here. You have to go over all this stuff. Now it's shorter to go over it to the right but the hole actually goes down to the left. You probably are better off going to the right. This is looking back to the fourth hole. We were just on the other side. You can see where the pin is down that hill. This is the fifth hole. It's a par three. From here, it's about 165 yards. It plays much longer, but the tees are not on this side often. They're usually up there. Let's go take a look. From where the tee boxes normally are, from the ladies tees today it's about 115 yards the pin is up now you can play it off that hill but you really want to try and land it on now you can't see there's a blind spot so you have to press this button and it turns red and then at the bottom there's another one that you press it to give people the all clear this is the sixth hole it's a par four from the ladies tees today it is 360 yards now you're better off staying to the left hit to the left of that sand trap it's hard to get over the sand trap. You might go in it. If you do, don't panic because it's pretty easy to get out of. And then there's a big slope that goes down from there. You have to go way out to that corner. Now you have to go down this hill and you really want to lay up right at the end there where you see those trees on the left. You want to kind of aim to that and then you want to go over the stuff. If you lay up to this corner over here, then you just chip over this stuff to the green. Here's the seventh hole. It's a par three. It's about 150 yards. See how the water comes in over on the left? So you want to stay right. Don't panic if you go over to those mounds. A lot of people end up over there and then you just chip over. Now everything does run off to the left towards the water. Try to stop on the right side because you can see how it slopes over to the water. This is the eighth hole, it's a par four, 245 yards from the reds. Everything runs from left to right. Go over the sand trap on the left. If you end up over here on the right, those are the sand traps that you have to go over. And that's pretty high up. So my suggestion would be to aim left and try not to go over the sand traps if you can avoid it. This is at the beginning of the ninth hole. You can call into the restaurant and order some food. This is the ninth hole. It's a par four. It's about 250 yards from the reds today. Now there are two different strategies. You can go up over the sand trap. And if you do, you're going to get a lot of roll towards the green. Don't panic if you end up on the right. It's fine from there too. It's a little longer. This is the approach shot. If you come over to the right, then you have to go over that sand trap where that guy is. Here's a view of the 10th hole from the blacks. This is the 10th hole. It is about 300 yards from the ladies tees today. Your aim is that tower up there. Stay away from the left because it drops off drastically. It does go downhill. Here's another view at the top of this hill of the 10th hole. You see how it drops off drastically. If your ball goes down there, you're in trouble. When you are hitting up, aim to the right and everything's going to roll from right to left. You'll get a lot of roll. This is from the ladies tees. It is a par three. It's 102 yards to the center. You can see there's a sand trap over on the left. 
stay to the right. There is a swallow over there on the right. If you end up in the swallow, you just chip up and putt. Here's that swallow over here. Can you see it? This is kind of a catch-all for a lot of the balls. This is the 12th hole. This is a tough hole. This is a par four, 320 two yards from the reds today. You have to hit into the middle of the fairway up there and it's probably going to take two shots to get to the bottom of that hill. Then you have to go way up the hill. Your second shot is probably going to land you at the bottom of this hill. So ladies, if you get a bogey on this hole, you're doing great. So now, once you get to the bottom of this hill, trust me when I tell you, take two extra clubs to get up there. If you go up the left, the problem is you have to get up to this landing spot on the left. Otherwise your ball rolls back. You can go up the right. The grass is thicker there. It holds it, but of course it's harder to get out of the thicker grass. If you overshoot the green, you hit this stuff in the back and it rolls back down. This is the 13th hole. It's a par five. There used to be a big oak tree that was the signature 440 yards from the ladies tees today. Now everything slopes off drastically to the left. You do not want to go to the left. That goes down to the 14th hole. It's impossible to get up that hill. Aim for the middle of the sand traps and then aim for where those guys are. That will get you there without getting into too much trouble. Here we are around that corner. You can even see from the sand traps how it's dropping off on the left. You see that guy going down that hill? He's gone. You cannot see him. We're on 14. Looking up to the green on 13. That is really steep. Don't come down here. This is the 14th hole. It's a par four. It's 346 yards from the Reds today. You just really want to go over that sand trap and then it's straight up from there. Here's your approach shot from 100 yards in. You just want to avoid the sand trap on the right. Here's the 15th hole. It's a par four. It's 302 yards from the reds today. You'll get some roll off that hill on the left. You likely will roll back into the fairway if you do go that way. Be careful going off to the right because you could easily go right into those woods. Aim for the center, but if you go left, it's not a bad miss. The green rolls in from the left. We're coming up to 16. The men's tees are behind us. It's another blind hole, so you're going to press that button, it'll turn it red, and down near the end, you'll press the button again to turn it green, and they know they can go. Here's the 16th hole. It's 262 yards from the reds today. It's pretty forgiving. If you can just hit it straight down, you should be in great shape. If you do go into the woods on the left, as long as you're not too far in, you should be able to get your ball. And the same with the woods on the right. Once you go over that hill, now you can see the green over there on the left. This is the 17th hole. It's a par three. It's only about 100 yards to the pin from here. Sometimes the pin is back. It's a big green. Sometimes it's over to the left. Today, it's over to the right. A lot of people end up over here on the right. You'll likely still par it. This is the 18th hole. It's a par five. It's 432 yards from the reds today. Aim to the left of that sand trap on the right. Then you should be able to get over the next set of sand traps up there. So here's the view from the left of that sand trap. If you can land your ball over here somewhere, then you should be able to get over that next set of sand traps. Here we are, 100 yards out. You definitely want to stay on the fairway. Notice how everything drops off drastically to the left. You don't want to be down there. You're better off coming in from the right, going around that sand trap or over the sand trap. This is the 18th green. Another sand trap over here on the left. That's the course.